<sighs> oh, goodness. I am actually out of shape. You know what? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I just, I, I was really giving that some thought. Like, should I make videos like this? Should I do this? Is this something I should do? I mean, I get very inspired by certain things I watch on YouTube. And then I think maybe I'm not alone in certain things that I feel. And, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a, oh God. It's triple digit weather right now and I'm not doing real well with that. So you're going to have to bear with me on that one. But yeah, I watch these things on YouTube and I get this like sense that there's some interesting content, you know, like that I'm watching and I just, I'm not alone in how I feel. And it's like, I don't really make videos like that. It's just kind of a random channel. Like there's just a bunch of like random stuff on my channel. So, here, I gotta feed my dog real quick, get my dog some water. Hey, I got, I got the boys in here. But, uh, yeah, I just, uh, it's nice to know that there's certain content out there that's, I don't know, I don't want to say it in a way, it's making an impact on me, I guess, in some way. But no, I, I don't... I talk about a lot of interesting content when I'm in here. Just I have things to talk about when I just hang out with my friends. And I don't know. I just... Some topics I come up with are interesting. And I, I would like to put them out there. But I don't know where to start, you know? Yeah, I don't know where to start. I did one video where I was talking about music. I was talking about uh, the difference between consuming music and then list actually listening to music. And I think as a fandom or an audience as, as a whole, like, I think we could really make a difference with how we receive. See, everything's always the writer's fault. It's always the, oh, this and that. And we don't really look at ourselves. We don't really make sense of ourselves. It's always the, everything else. We never look at ourselves, ever. <clears throat> I just thought it'd be interesting you know, start kind of maybe throwing these things on the table. I mean, I'm not the only one that thinks this by any means or any stretch of the imagination. But uh, I'm really, one of the best channels, I might, I don't know how I'm going to get in trouble here calling him out, but his name is XKCD Hat Guy. He's an incredible, absolutely just incredible, the content that comes out of this guy. So there's two channels that I'm particularly fond of that go in places that matter that you, these are people that are real they have the right things in front of me when i'm when i'm watching them it's like this is the kind of content i would like to see more of not that i i don't see a lot of things on on you know i'm not grading anybody by anybody you know it's just i think interesting stimulating conversation is something that's really not there's not enough of that but XKCD Hat Guy is an amazing channel. It's like, when I found that channel, I think it was pretty recent. You know, I, I, I'm i just totally blown away by that. I don't know about you guys, but if you ever seen him or heard of him, you know, let me know. I, you know, you, you think, I think he's incredible. I think there needs to be, I wish there were more people like that in my real life, in my way, in my, in my reality. I, I see this on YouTube, but I think to myself, to myself, it's like, how am I going to meet people like that? I can actually talk to that I can have that kind of stimulating conversation with you know the other channel is Michael Jameson he's actually a, lives in South Africa I believe he takes care of animals tigers his philosophies are mind-bending absolutely mind-bending so these are the kind of channels that really inspire me and I'm not as interesting as these people I promise you that but I'm a big toy connoisseur I love toys and collectibles so I watch a lot of stuff like that but, uh, nah, I just, I, I like the idea of just talking. Like, just in here talking bullshit and just going on about what I want to go on about. I think that's kind of cool. And sometimes I might get into a cool topic. Sometimes it just don't go nowhere, you know, but we'll see. Like, I just, I need that. I need that stimulation right now. Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like that's what's missing in my life is, uh, you know, I don't get that. I don't, I don't get to have that. 
you know, I, I my friends are gone. I, you know, my friends are no longer around. Not that I want to get into the dark subject, but uh, I got to start over. I don't I don't have any interest in in <clears throat> starting over. I have no interest in going out and meeting new people. You know, I just it ain't there. And uh, yeah, I think in my my mind it's like the best people you meet are when you're younger get older you don't meet interesting people anymore even if they are interesting you know they're certainly not going to let you know yeah, I meet a guy who has a really good interesting mind and all of a sudden he's ready to go to bed with me tomorrow I I just want a, I want a friend I want someone to talk to I'm not looking for that kind of thing you know but uh I, yeah, I'm getting too personal but uh it just turns out that you know there are interesting things I don't I don't need all this fiction I don't need to surround myself in fiction. I think there's enough things in real life that are actually interesting. But we don't, we overlook it. We look over that so so quickly. And I was pretty amazed when I did that video about the uh, music thing, how Cabaret Voltaire changed my life as a listener. It was one of the most life-changing things. Nothing broke me to the extent that that did, but I have been broken by things other than that. But that was the one that fixed me in a way that I'd never been, I never was able to see past a certain thing. Once I got to that point, it's like, I, I can't go back. The most incredible music I ever heard. It might not be to everybody's liking, but I, that was my biggest, uh, I was about 18, 19 when that happened. I got my hands on Crackdown and that just forever changed the way I saw life. And I was already into different music. So for me, that was just like the next step that I could, I would have never known existed, you know. But yeah, I mean, I go on about a lot of crazy stuff, and I just thought I'd try to experiment with the idea of doing this and, and seeing what happens. I got some reception with that video, though. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, that video did get some, not a lot, again, you know. I tend to, I kind of exist under the radar, and there's nothing wrong with that. You don't need to have a big reputation. You know, it only takes one person to see that video that changes something and makes a difference for that person in the right way. You don't need to have a channel that garners a lot of attention and makes a lot of money. But it's not really doing anything to change you except, wow, I'm making a lot of money and it could get to your head. And it doesn't always happen to that people, to those kind of people, but it can happen. You know, I, I'm just, I just like the idea of setting myself on the table somewhere and just seeing if, what kind of a reaction I'm going to get. You know, you ever see that? Yeah, just, because I talk about real different stuff. You know, and I'm not afraid to talk about those areas of interest, you know, because why not? Nobody's really that human. Everybody has a more scripted type of layout. And it's fine, too. But there's not a heck of a lot of human interaction that, really goes on and uh when I talked about XKCD Hat Guy and Michael Jameson I'd say those are probably the two channels that I have run across in my lifetime you know that really were human you know like there was something very human about this I don't need the special editing I don't need all the the graphics I just want to watch something where this is somebody who really has something to share and that's, you know, that goes a long way with me. I find that to be something that I, I would like to see more of. And those are the two channels that do that. <laughs> if you ever get a chance, you know, like, uh, maybe I'll see if I, you know, I'll try to figure, I'm, I'm new to this whole internet thing. Put like a link in the description of those kinds of channels, if that's something that people are interested in. Because I think that I recommend them. Those, those are the two channels I recommend the most, you know. Just honest, real people that have real lives that make a difference because they live that life in the most honest way possible. And they're not trying to make any sort of stand. They're not trying to impress anybody. They're really doing what they like to do. You don't have all this uh, overhead. There's no sponsor. There's no, 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 not that there's anything wrong with that. And I'm not putting any of that down. There's a lot of great content out there. It's just, you know, I think for the last couple of months now, I've been coming across a lot of these, you know, 
kinds of videos where people are just kind of talking down on like whatever new movies come out and new television shows that come out and it's like you either like them or hate them and everybody's complaining and and I can relate with some of that but I can also I think it's time for some of those kinds of things to end for a while maybe five to six years would be a nice break you don't need that much Star Wars and Marvel I think we can I think we can all agree that maybe I think it's time for some things to just stop for a while regardless of the political aspects just step back and like you know maybe we should get into other things maybe get involved in other things that matter you know it's still cool to like it if you're a big fan of that yeah I mean I just think that there's something kind of missing here you know that's all I, I I'm, I'm just I'm curious what you guys think like I'm I'm not you know I don't have any opinions one way or another this is going on too long though I gotta make sure I, if, I, if this video goes on too much longer I'm gonna have a hard time loading it up on YouTube. I know, I just, yeah, I was just look, thinking about everything. I mean, it's kind of like thought provoking mindset now, you know, and <clears throat> I've just seen a lot of things that mind blowing things, both good and bad, but, but yeah, it comes down to the end of the day. It's like there's a lot of human stuff that, uh, I just don't feel like I'm seeing enough of. And when I saw those two channels, it made me aware of, maybe it's not so bad that I am the way I am. You know, does that make sense? Like, yeah, I'm very different. I'm not like most people. And uh, we all think we're different. We all think that we're not like other people. And the bad news behind that is we're potentially not like other people. I think we are most, we're, we're, we're generally externally very much like other people because we can't we're afraid to be different you know I, i'm sure you've heard that many times but i'm that kind of person that really believes in living deliberately and having the best feeling of whatever it is you like small small things really go a long way but uh yeah i mean i'm not trying to brag but yeah when i saw I, i've been following uh watching michael jameson stuff since God, probably since 2018, I've been watching his channel. Hat Guy, XKCD Hat Guy, just recently found last year around the month of July, maybe possibly even August. And yeah, he is just everything that I saw was, you know, I mean, I'll be honest, the first time I saw it, I tried a little because uh, it was so honest and so human and i just i've never seen that before i mean besides michael jameson who i had been kind of following i've never seen that and it's just there's something i don't know i just want to like shed light on that i guess i guess maybe that's what it is i i, I watched that and it's you know it's been a little it's been about a year now since about yeah you know, what is it july the second okay oh yeah about a year this guy has, you know, inspired me in some way. And uh, it just, it really gets you, you know. And I'm sure he's got quite a popular background, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't recommend it enough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this short and see if, how this goes. And uh, and if I can get more content like this up, sure, we'll do it. And uh, I feel like I, I do it anyway. You know, it's like talking to somebody, but it's talking to a camera. But at least I get to do it, you know. So, yeah, we'll cut it here. And that, let me know.